Bitcoin. 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 Hey there, YouTube coin community. This is Dustin with CoinOp. Today, we are going to be taking a look at a couple quick and easy ways to image your coins, uh, to list them for sale or for questions with uh, basically the minimal supplies, uh, stuff that you would have around your house, your phone, you know, items like that. But before we do that, I want to give a huge shout out to all of our supporters from Wednesday night and Friday night's live streams. Now every Friday and Wednesday between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock p.m. I do go live. I do a live stream. The Wednesday night one is a question and answer. You can ask me all kinds of questions. Friday night I take error and variety coins and various things and I put them underneath the scope. So I want to give a big shout out to Christine Criswell Joy, Cheryl Busman, James Kim Delaney, Flea Market Coin Hunters, Beth Coddington, Just Digging, Silver King, John Bradley, James Koloski, Martin Poles, and Ravenhawk Coins. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's dive right on in. Hey there, YouTube coin community. It's Dustin with CoinOp. Today, I wanted to go over how to image your coins. Now, I'm not talking about professionally photographing and imaging your coins I'm referring to just out of the pocket using a cell phone just your stuff that you would have sitting around your house to image your coins to get good close-up images of your coins you do not need a fancy setup um, so I'm going to show you a real basic setup I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks of how to get you started for this we're going to use a cell phone we're gonna use a pile of books. And of course, we're gonna take a coin to look at. Now I've got this coin right here in this little holder. Um, I like to image them inside of these black little felt things on the other side, it's white. I shouldn't be touching the coin like that. But uh, I like using those. I think it makes it look much more professional. Um, for backgrounds, I find either use black or use a white background, but black has the higher selling point. Uh, there was a study done on eBay of what backgrounds with coins sell better or sell faster and sell for more. And black backgrounds, typically the coins sold faster and at a higher price, the next up was white. Beyond that, it was hit and miss. So if you're using red backgrounds or wood grain, it could uh, potentially hurt you in value with uh, sales. So what you wanna do is take a stack of books and you're gonna wanna just stagger them. And I just grabbed some random books and you're just gonna wanna stagger them. And this is gonna be basically our tripod for the cell phone. We're gonna set the coin somewhere underneath of it. And we're very simply going to turn on our cell phone and go to the camera app. Which I'm already on the camera app. And we're just gonna prop it off the edge of the books and then align the coin underneath of it. Nice and simple, zoom in. Make sure you have very nice lighting. I'm gonna snap a couple of images with my, whoop, with my phone and I'll show you the images that I took after it's all said and done so that you can see how mine came out. But all that I'm doing is using the books to stabilize it. I'm gonna do a couple close-ups. Just using the book to stabilize the coin. And that, that's about it. That's all you need it for. Now, okay, I'm gonna show you how to zoom in and take good close-ups with um, your phone using a jeweler's loop uh, now there are a lot of places like on Amazon that you can buy a clip-on magnifier that's literally made for your phone and they only cost a couple bucks that's one way that you can image it but what I like doing is just simply taking some tape some packing tape and uh, just a couple pieces in a jeweler's loop 
and I literally will just tape it directly onto the lens of the camera on my phone. Now, you want to make sure your jeweler's loop is nice and clean, and you want to make sure the lens is nice and clean. You want to make sure it's nicely secured to it. I just use a little bit of tape. I know this is probably not the best way to go about imaging coins, but this has worked for me for quite a few years. So once again, we're going to use this to stabilize. And now we can take very nice close-ups of whatever it is that we want to on a coin. And like I said, I will show you the images that I did take. I'll film this so you can see. Uh, lighting is also key. You want to have good natural lighting. You don't want to have any kind of um, shadows or shadow effect. Like if I come right here, it'll shadow out that coin that can uh, be distracting. You want to be able to show every feature of that coin. If there's damage on that coin, you want to be able to show that. One of the things when it comes to selling coins that you don't want to get into is listing and selling things that are not listed properly. In the coin world, if you say the coin is all original and it has a scratch and nick in it, the person who bought it typically is going to send that right back to you and want a refund. So you want to be able to show every little flaw in that coin. Now when you are imaging your coins, my recommendation to you is to take a nice close-up of the entire obverse, the front of the coin, a nice close-up of the entire reverse, the back of the coin, and then whatever areas of the coin that you are trying to show, you want to take close-ups of it. You want to just zoom in and get close-ups of each particular area, especially if you're listing it for opinions. If you're sending somebody images of your coin because you need help with it, you don't know what's going on, make sure you take those close-ups of the entire adverse, the entire reverse, and then very up close as best you can of the areas in question. And then when you are selling your coins, if it's an error or variety coin, once again, you're going to want close-ups of the entire front, the entire back, the adverse and the reverse. And then once again, if it's a variety or error, wherever the doubling or whatever part of the coin is bringing an extra value, you're going to want to take close-ups of it. You're going to want to show it real nice and up close. So that's what I would recommend with imaging your coins on a budget using stuff around the house. Now you can always use a USB microscope. Um, you can buy them on Amazon, on eBay, all over the place. Just about every coin supplier will sell them. So you can buy a USB microscope just about anywhere. Uh, you can find them as low as 10 bucks and up to hundreds of dollars depending on the quality that you want believe it or not the one that i use here to image coins i spent less than ten dollars on it from, from amazon i ordered it out of china it's a off market no brand usb microscope and it works like a dream so you can use your imagination on that but using a usb microscope you can get beautiful up close images of repunched mint marks double dyes errors strike throughs you name it you can take great images with that. So I do recommend checking out Amazon or eBay or various coin suppliers, coin shops. They will have stuff for you to image. Just remember, you do not need to be a professional photographer to take great, awesome, up-close images of a coin. All that you need is a cell phone, a pile of books, and something to magnify with, a jeweler's loop or a clip-on loop or a USB microscope. And you can take professional quality images. A large majority of the images that you see in the videos uh, that I get from other people are taken with a cell phone. So if you think my images look really good, just keep in mind a large majority of them came from a cell phone. So if they can do it, you can too. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it uh, gave you some ideas when you decide to image your coins. That way you can image your coins without spending any more money than is necessary. I know I like to be thrifty, figured I'd pass on a couple quick tips and tricks. If you would like to support our channel, you can do so by hitting the thumbs up button. The more you hit that thumbs up button, the more it encourages YouTube to share our content. Also by subscribing, we are currently on a push for 50,000 subscribers. So the quicker you join up and subscribe, the quicker we can get on with our 50K coin giveaway. We are gonna be giving away major double dies that can be found in the Red Book of Coins. I am not talking low dollar coins either. We are giving away nice 
double dyed coins when we hit 50,000 subscribers. So subscribe. Also by commenting, the more you comment, the more it also encourages YouTube to share our content with more and more people. We do have a website. It is varietyerrors.com. Once again, it is varietyerrors.com. We have a lot of fun stuff over there, a lot of interesting stuff going on. Go check out the website. We have an auction side to it for them. Just all kinds of fun stuff. Go check it out. If you would like to find myself or Robert Lawson, you can always do so by going to the CoinOp group on Facebook, or you can always find myself and Robert Lawson as well in the CoinOp sales group on Facebook. And once again, that is another place that you can go to to buy, sell, and trade coins. Another avenue to make some money. And as always, have fun.